Hi, I'm Danielle from Journey of a Brave, and I've been living in the United States for six years. So I'm originally Mexican. Um, so I'm going to start my celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month with a book by Octavio Paz. Octavio Paz is a Nobel Prize from Mexico. He won the Nobel Prize in 1990, and um, this is one of his most relevant books. It's uh, The Labyrinth of Solitude. So this book is really relevant, and I think it's very, very important um, to all to society overall, because the way he writes is incredible, but especially for the Hispanic community that lives in the United States or that lives around the world and is trying to understand who they are and um, what they stand for. Because there's something very particular about being in Latin in this country, which is all about contrasts. You know, we come from, from the mix between two continents. Um, we're a mix between Europe and indigenous communities and indigenous groups, and um, which were often I mean, the, the conquest is, is this very complicated thing in Mexico because the conquest happened in a way because um, the Aztecs and Mayans, everyone had issues and they, they were confronted to each other. And so they saw in the, in, in the Spaniards the possibility to be stronger against their enemy, their enemy being the other indigenous groups. And because of this, they sort of destroyed all of them, including themselves. So I think that's something to think about when it comes to, to the way we, we approach life and we, we approach the current social climate. Um, I think it's very important to, to read this book because it has different chapters. One of them is on the Pachucos. The Pachucos are these Latins that um, don't really feel like Mexicans. This has to do with Mexicans in particular. And at the same time, they don't merge into the American culture the same way. And they dress in very exotic ways that sort of set them apart without making them feel part of anything. Let's remember that the title of the book, The Labyrinth of Solitude. This is all about how uh, Mexicans, through parties, through being together, through families, through never being alone, sort of express the real loneliness that is inside their their, their souls as, as these lost sense of belonging uh, because we come from everywhere but yet we come from nowhere and we lost our connection to nature and to our traditions and to our culture and so we're just recreating everything from what is left from what we have from each of the different sites of uh, where we come from so it is a really interesting book it has incredible quotes that is that are quite hard for me to translate because obviously i read it in spanish but what I want to do through this video is, is just to, to, to create this, to, to give you this little seed that might sprout into, into getting to know better um, about maybe your Latin background. I don't know, perhaps you're Hispanic uh, or Latin or Mexican, hopefully. I love Mexicans. <laughs> or, or simply to, to understand the culture um, that we come from. And if, if, if you're American or, or if you're from anywhere else, for you to see a little bit of the conflicting historical context that has us where we are. Um, after being a conquered country, after all the movements of independence, of revolution, and how each of those have affected our way to confront life. So another thing that is really interesting is how it talks about masks. It says that we are masking ourselves um, from all this loneliness in a way. And it also talks about death and the way we approach death as a celebration of life and how important it is for us to, to, to make peace, perhaps because we're terribly scared or perhaps because, because we understand that's our ultimate fate, regardless of, of anything else. So it's very contrasting. One of the, of, of the most beautiful contrasts that I find is when it says that Americans drink in order to forget while Mexicans drink in order to remember. Um, we like to feel. I think we truly have a thing with emotions and the deep, deep, deep emotions, um, while American culture doesn't necessarily feel the same way. So I think we're at such a tumultuous moment of social transformation that is really important to, to understand the voices that come from other places. Um, to understand La Malinche, which is another character he talks about, who used to be his translator for Hernán Cortés, and uh, who played that pivotal role when it came to the conquest, and is sometimes sort of regarded as the problem and the reason why it happened in a really, really negative way, which I think that 
shouldn't be that way necessarily, but of course she's a woman. And uh, there's also that, uh, there's one reference that he says about women. He actually says that the reason why um, we are regarded as less than men is because of our anatomy, that basically as we have the cut, this is talking about uh, biology, uh, that because of that cut we're open and th that openness is what makes us vulnerable. I have a lot of arguments against that because I am an avid feminist, <laughs> but uh, still, I think it's interesting to see how he expresses this um, situation because definitely uh, Mexico is a country quite uh, marked in many ways by this machismo, which is this sense of superiority from men, which is changing, hopefully, but it's, it's still a, a glass ceiling in a way. So thank you very much for joining me. I, I really, really recommend you read this book, The Labyrinth of Solitude by Octavio Paz. I'm Danielle from Journey of a Braid, and uh, this is a special series that I'm creating for Hispanic Heritage Month, where I will be talking about some of the most relevant Latin American voices in literature.